Hey everyone, this is Sabina Edana and in my last video I already said I would go out in the woods, go out on a walk when it, the weather in Holland would get better and I would show you all edible plants I could find. But I had some problems. First the weather got better, I went on a walk, camera didn't work. Yeah. And then the weather turned out to get worse. And when it got good again, I didn't have time because I went to England. Yay! I love England. And yeah, well, that's about, yeah. And when I got back from England, the sun was shining, but it was all so bright. It was so hot. I couldn't walk because it was way too hot. And all the plants were like dying from thirst because it hasn't been raining for days. Well, now it has rained a few days ago and they look a lot better now. So we can try now. So see ya. I also brought my dog. Lookie, kijk eens. Hi. First up, this one. These leaves with those thingies. I don't know whether they are flowers or anything. Yeah, the leaves are edible, and they're not that bad, but not really an interesting flavor. Always pick younger leaves. From every plant you find, only the younger ones. Because the bigger ones get some sort of... Thank you, Luki. Some sort of acid in... Bah! in them. Okay, my dog is wet and she <laughs> thinks it's funny to whack her wet tail onto my back. Which is pretty and disgusting because the water is not that clean and not that nice so yeah but yeah these are edible not really interesting but edible um don't know some will already know of course but these are really good when you've got insect bites anything like that or from stinging nettles like these these leaves you just completely crush them between your fingers and then you get yeah you can rub it over the stingy or itchy spot and then it will go away okay next up these stinging nettles are they called stinging nettles in english yeah um edible first cook them for like five to seven minutes because if you don't that won't be so much fun. Um, of course, everyone knows dandelions. They're edible. The leaves always edible. Not really that interesting either, but edible. And in autumn, you can dig up the roots and eat them. Like roast them or cook them or whatever you like. Clover also edible. I don't really like clover. They like eating cardboard or anything like that. So they do have some flavor. It's not that bad but I don't like the texture. Okay this stuff is the same as this. Just a different shape and a little different flower thingies. Okay just so you know. Uh, okay so these are also edible. But I advise cooking them. They're pretty sour. And when you cook them, they should be tasting better. Okay, so these leaves are also edible. And that is my dog, who is pretty annoying right now. Okay, so these are also edible. Not such a bad taste, just also not my favorite. And Lookie, say hi! <laughs> oh, she just swam. And she's all wet <laughs> and cute. 
these are edible too. And my dog will literally eat any plant she can find that I touch. So, but yeah, these are also edible. I haven't tried them yet. Next up, this one. We know them as Melde or as Goosefoot. Ganzenfoot, we would call it. Yeah. This actually tastes good. I like Melde. These, I don't know what they're called, but we call them distals. And you can eat the roots of these, which should be pretty nice. These are also edible. Maybe you recognize the leaves. I showed you this before, but here's one with the flowers. This is what they look like. This is called Brave Hendrik. I don't know what it is in English and it hit my face. You can recognize them from the leaves. Here's more leaves. See, this is my view. Ah. Proof enough I'm in Holland. Everything is flat. Quite boring. But yeah. This is the same sort of plant, even though it looks different. But you can eat these leaves. They're quite nice. Thousand blood. Uh, I need to get the sun away. Okay, like this. Thousand blood. I haven't tried this one yet, so I will right away. Okay, I don't know who does not know these, but this is Camille. As you can see from the leaves. And the flowers. Loki! Come terug! Um, you can eat the leaves and the flower petals, but I would not eat the hearts. They're not that awesome. Okay, now it's time for a plant that likes to play hide and seek. These. Those little leaves. I will pick one. Like this. I hope you can see those, probably. Those are my very favorite chickweed. They are so awesome. They are delicious as fuck. Ouch. But it's hard to reach them right now. But I will pick one a little bit. So. Got it. Okay, so this is pretty much what chickweed looks like. Always make sure there's nothing on there that you should not eat. But this is really awesome. You can just eat the flowers and those little ball things and the leaves. They are so awesome. You can just, if you if you think it's clean, a piece like this, you can just put it in your mouth. Okay, here I am again. Um, we're going to go over a few basic rules and tips for taking plants that you've been collecting. Oh, my eye is vibrating. That feels really awkward. Um, okay, so... Rule number one, like a golden rule, only pick young leaves. Never the older ones because they get the weird acid thingy in them that could make you really ill if not kill you. Um, second, if you've got like, when you have dandelions, I don't really see one around right now but you know in dandelions there's that white moist the white liquid stuff that stuff if you get the plant with that it's probably poisonous dandelions are one of the few exceptions so don't eat those only the dandelions dandelions you can eat but we call it wolf's milk always get the plants through boiling water. If you like getting a whole meal or something or a salad. Wow, my dog is stupid. 
She just hit her face on the bench. Okay, um, always get them through running water or through boiling water to clean them because they need to be clean because it can be like anything on them like dogs pee on them if you're not sure whether a plant is edible there are a few tests you can do I can like demonstrate it with something like <laughs> and my dog is with it again she's so cute um, first you take a little piece of it <laughs> and I've got my dog on my lap say hi Lucky say hi yeah um I, you take a little piece of the plant and you crush it so the moist comes out ah! Shh. then you rub it in the elbow here right there see what bends there um you do that for like three minutes if you don't have any rash or itch or anything or red spots or something like that you can go on to the next test uh, you take a little piece of the plant and put it right here between your lower teeth and your lip look at that face look at that face look at that face it's so cute but yeah um that's it, I guess. So I would say be blessed and bye.